Hello guys, this is Tech Review here, doing another video. Just came back from WWDC 2014. Uh, we didn't get a whole lot from WWDC. We have new, IO, um, new iOS 8 and OS 10.10. .10. Cool name they named for it. This gives it a look and feel like iOS 7 and 8. Coming this fall, you can get it now if you're a developer, or you can sign up for their beta program, which I did sign up, and I will be making another video on OS 10.10 .10 when they email it to me when when it's ready to be downloaded as a beta, starting this summer. It's it's a whole new design. Looks just like um, iOS 7, flat tiles, different, way different than Mavericks. Much more better, controllable, nice. There's much more to do with it. They got a very cool way to answer your phone calls on here. It's like an exchange system, you could say it is, where you can answer your phone calls on here with your phone and you never have to reach it. You can go up to the Wi Fi up here. And connect to your phone hotspot. They didn't say if your hotspot has to be on. I think it does. You just tap on your phone's hotspot. And it puts in the password. Right away. And your phone never has to be touched. So I think it automatically turns it on. Now with um, iCloud Drive. You can. Store any file up in the cloud. In their iCloud. Access it when you need it. Windows, Mac, PC. On the Mac. I mean, on the PC, you got to go into a web browser and get it sent. Mac and iOS connects alike. Just like it says, you can answer your phone calls. And it says, use a Mac or an iOS device, and you can do incredible things. Use them together, and you can do much. You can do so much more, because now with OS 10.10 .10 and iOS 8, I can't really say the name that well of the new Mac OS. All your device devices work together even more harmlessly, like flowing, working together. They recognize when they're near near each other to, you know, answer your phone call. Same thing. Like if your iPad is next to your phone, same thing when you get a phone call. So on the Mac, on the new iOS 10.10 .10, phone calls, now you can make and receive iPhone calls on your Mac, so if you're working on your Mac and your phone rings in another room, just leave it there and answer it right on your phone, on your Mac, I mean. Same thing with SMS text messages. You never have to touch your phone if it's near your Mac in another room. It picks it up off the... I'm guessing it picks it off the same Wi-Fi network you have to be on. And the new thing they put is hand off. Now your Mac knows... The latest things you were doing on your iOS device and vice versa. So you can start. You can start something on one device and instantly pick up on another. Which means you can do an email on your phone and pick it up. And it would show it down right next to Finder on the left hand side. And you would open up your, uh, the mail icon and it pop you right back where you're typing up. And just keep going. Same thing. Do a uh, pages on your Mac and you have an iPad pops it up on the left hand corner of your iPad and another thing it has instant hotspot so it turns on your iPhone's hotspot just as you click on the Wi-Fi and when your phone is nearby so it can be in a bag in another room when you're not near Wi-Fi and here's the test drive OS 10.10 .10. so you can sign up to be a beta tester like I am and I will show you a video and their new tool called Swift for uh, developers. And if you want to see more about that, you would have to go into that. That's kind of hard to explain. But it's very cool for developers. So OS 10.10 .10 is merging iOS 7 look and iOS 8 look together, which is pretty cool. I don't know how many people are going to like it. So we're going to take a look at the design. So they changed it from the old looks, how they did in the 90s, to the aqua look, then from the aqua look to this look, and now from the current look to 
a more flat out iOS 7, iOS 8 look. And techniques, like in this picture, very flush with the row of icons on the bottom and all that. The, the whole layout is very different. I noticed they picked up some things with Android on iOS 8 with the predict a type where it's it's not like they're copying Android it's more like they're they made it way better than Android does and they also you can download keyboards now like the Android keyboards and things and use it but it doesn't access your privacy and all that uh, go into a little bit more detail when we look on um, iOS 8 so this is just the whole redesign of 10.10 .10. here we go I'm gonna go through them finder launchpad safari mail calendar notes reminder contacts mail not mail maps iMessage FaceTime and uh, iTunes preview App Store, iBooks, um, System Preferences, sorry about that, uh, recent documents, and the trash bin looks much nicer. So they, they really did really good with OS, 10 OS X 10.10, which is really nice. Everything's more elegant, easy to find, like in this picture. Uh, it's translucent, so every time your background changes... And you move it over something like your whole window, like this window, and you move it up into like this darker scene. You'll see it shaded underneath that, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And let me just go through the rest of them here. Same thing with the maps and all the other apps, which are really cool. OS 10.10 .10 will be out in the fall. If you're a developer, you can get it now. If you want to be a beta tester, you can get it now as well. Just got to sign up and they said they'll email it to you when it's ready to download. And it says they'll be available to the first of 1 million customers, 1 million subscribers that sign up. So I'm one of the 1 million, first 1 million. So stay tuned for a video on OS 10.10 .10, uh, preview and I'll go through all of these in more detail now we're gonna take a look at iOS 8 which is surprisingly has the same look as iOS 7 which is good but I mean I thought they would change it up a little bit more so let me go back for a minute iOS 8, it, it has a little bit of look of the iOS 7, but not that much. And it's also coming this fall. You know, it's much faster in games. They updated it so it can run the games on the um, iPhone 5S better with the A7 chip. Photos can be everywhere on every device, sync through them. Much more better better when you edit a photo it moves it on your iMessages now you can actually send video messages and voice messages and they automatically get expired they call it they expire in like two minutes so it automatically deletes your voice messages and your video messages that you send and it asks you on the bottom it lets you know I mean if you want to keep it or it just automatically deletes it, but it doesn't delete your physical text. And the design is a lot different at the top here. You can, when you double click the home button on the top, you get all your favorite contacts and your recent contacts, which you can click on them. You can FaceTime them, message them, that sort of thing. Which is cool. And uh, our smart keyboard ever, so. Like I said, when you, it predicts a text for you, like if you say, you know, please transcript as essay as you request, asked for, or required, you know, it picks out that sort of text form. Family sharing, so you can share 
a lot of stuff with uh, your family. Now, say if your kid, your son or daughter, I mean, want to buy a game with your credit card, it'll ask you for first if you would like to approve that charge. So, which is pretty nice, and share photos and everything. And iCloud Drive, as well, gets moved over. So, just like I was saying before, you can do everything right on there. From Mac, PC, vice versa between all your devices. Come home, go right up to your Mac, it syncs it from your phone over. Here's a health book. They don't really call it a health book, they just call it the health kit. That's what they said in WWDC, but this is saying it wasn't really hinting to uh, iWatch. It was kind of hinting to an eye about iWatch, but it wasn't really. It was just showing your calories burned, sleep data. From all your um, smartwatches you got now, it would put them all together into one app. Like you can see here, your calories burned, medical ID, who you got to call, your fitness, uh, like your Nike Plus, and that sort of stuff. It wasn't really hinting, in my opinion, as an iWatch too much. But, to be honest, it kind of was hinting to me that an iWatch might come out later in the fall. We'll see about that. And here you again, you get connect the Mac, the iPhone together. So you can answer your phone calls from your iPhone on your iPad, your Mac, and vice versa. And also SMS messages, which is pretty cool. I'll demo that when I get the OS 10.10. .10 maybe in a week or two once they start sending out the emails for downloads for beta testers and a new SDK if you're a developer the SDK, SDK lets you build more with the touch ID and different things like that iOS 8 for business partners you know you can activate your phone the moment you give uh, the coworker a phone and they get it they unbox it, it, it automatically sends out their email and things to it, which is cool. So if you're an enterprise person, you'll like that. And here's the iOS 8 compatible devices it will be compatible with. I'll run down the list for you. The iPhone 4S, 5, 5C, iPhone 5S, iPod Touch 5th generation, iPad 2, iPad with Retina display, which means iPad 3, 4, 3 and 4 are the one with the retina display. iPad Air, iPad Mini, iPad Mini with the retina display. I'm surprised they still got the iPad 2 up there, which is, like you guys know, been pretty old. Been there a long time. But, I mean, these are the lineup of the devices that support it. So, if you have an iPhone 4, you're out of luck. You're going to have to stay with iOS 7. Unless you got a 4S and up, iOS 8. Uh, that'll be doing it for this video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment about iOS 8, please. About iOS 8 and OS 10.10. .10, and please let me know, what would you think in the fall release? Would they ever release an iWatch, a new MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, I mean. A new, yeah, a new MacBook Air with um, Retina 12-inch display. Will they ever release... Apple TV TV or a new cinema display or a new Mac Mini or a new iPod Touch or iPod Classic or an iPod Nano. Let me know what you think about the fall lineup and the WWDC that happened today. Please like and subscribe and I want to say again, I'm sorry for the mishaps that happened in this video, which I was talking about. Sorry about that and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.